Hi. So the next problem is a very interesting problem. So the problem is that we have a matrix. Let's say this is a matrix of five by four, that there are five rows and four columns. Okay. So there is a person over here. He wants to reach this position, right? So from top left, he wants to reach bottom right. Now he has various options, right? He has various options. He can take various paths. Along the path, there is only two possibilities. Either he can move horizontal, either he can move vertical, right? At every step, he can move horizontal, he can move vertical. So obviously, one of the possibilities can be, let's say, this, right? Then further more possibilities are there, something like this, right? So if I talk about this particular path, what he has to do is, he has to move once horizontal, then vertical, 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 vertical four times then two times horizontal right so as you can see so horizontal vertical 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 horizontal horizontal so this is the path for this right similarly there can be many paths then other path can be vertical 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 and then three times horizontal so v v v v h h h so what we are supposed to do is we have to print all the possible paths given that the number of rows and number of columns right we are given number of rows and number of columns we have to print all the possible paths from top left to bottom right okay so how to think this in terms of recursion so how to think this in terms of recursion so just try to consider that if the person is reaching over here the last step he can take either from this particular box or this particular box, right? So the last step he will take from this box or this box. There is no other possibility from where he could have taken the last step. So if we can find number of ways for this box and number of ways for this box and add it up. So that is going to be the total number of ways of reaching the bottom right, right? So to find all the paths, what we can do is so let's say the paths for this come out to be let's say h h v v and so on right so the all are the paths so we simply have to append vertical into this right we have to simply append vertical into this because the last step has to be vertical to reach here similarly in all the paths till here we simply have to add one h to that path because the last step will be horizontal so that he will be able to reach his position right so again try to understand this thing that we are going to find all the possible paths till this box and we are simply going to add v to that right we are simply going to add v to that because the last has to be vertical step and also we are going to find all the possible paths till this box and we are going to add plus h to this right because the last step has to be horizontal from this right so to find for this particular box what we will have to pass is we will have to pass four rows and four columns right because still here we have four rows and we have all the four columns for this particular box we will have to find for five rows and three columns right what this means is let's say we have a function ways so for ways if i have to find five comma four the answer is going to be ways 4 comma 4 right in all these ways we will add v to that plus ways 5 comma 3 right obviously we will add h to all of them so this is how we are going to reach towards our answer so let's just solve it so int ways to reach bottom okay so this is the name of my function so it is going to take number of rows, int rows, int columns and it is going to take the string output array, right? Okay. So we will write the base case later. Let's write the remaining code first. Okay. So int smaller output one size is equal to ways to reach bottom for rows minus one for all the columns and we are going to pass output to this right and for smaller output two size
we are going to pass rows and columns minus 1 okay and what we are supposed to do for the first one we have to add v to all of them and for the second one we have to add h to all of them one more thing i should do is i should create a temp array in temp let's say it's of 1000 size okay then also int k is equal to 0 right so just to keep that track so what i'm going to do i'll just apply a loop for int i is equal to 0 i less than smaller output one size i plus plus and i'm just going to put temp k is equal to output i plus v right so this is what we discussed in each of them i'll add v okay so i should have made this string array right so i accidentally made it int so plus v right and obviously k plus plus then same thing i'll be doing for this also for int i is equal to 0 i less than smaller output to size i plus plus temp k is equal to output of i plus h this time right so just try to understand that when i am running for my smaller output one i am getting all the possibilities of reaching row minus one and columns in my output array right when i am running for this smaller output two then i am getting all the possibilities for rows and column minus one in my output two again and it will be overridden by that okay so the last step that is left is i have to copy all the values from temp to my output okay so for int i is equal to 0 i less than smaller output 1 size plus smaller output 2 size i plus plus okay so output i is equal to temp of i okay so at the end i am simply going to return the total size that is smaller output 1 size plus smaller output 2 size now the only thing that we are left with is the base cases okay so just consider how we are going to write the base case if rows is equal to 1 okay if rows is equal to 1 what should happen if rows is equal to 1 what should happen so if we have one row and we have any number of columns right so any number of columns let's say there are nine columns so if i have to start from here and i have to reach till here obviously i will have to take horizontal eight times right so it should be h h h h h h h h so it should be horizontal eight times right if it is 10 columns i will have to take nine h's right so nine times i have to take horizontal steps right and if my columns are one and i have any number of rows let's say i have nine rows then I'll have to take eight times vertical path, right? And if I have five rows and one column, so four times V will come. So this is how I have to do. So these are my base cases. So for rows is equal to one, I will have to add H column minus one time. Okay, so I'll just apply a loop for int I is equal to zero, right? I less than calls minus one, I plus plus, so let me just start a string outside uh, output 0 is equal to empty string and in this I will just add h column minus one time okay so in a loop it will be added output 0 plus is equal to h okay and similarly for columns for columns is equal to 1 output 0 is this so rows minus 1 times it should add v right so these are my base cases and obviously there should be return 1 in both of them because there is only one path right there is only one path so if i have let's say only one row there is only one path that is hhh that's the only path okay uh, return 1 so let's try and run this ways to reach bottom okay let's say we have five rows and we have four columns okay and we will have to pass an output array so string output thousand so int output size 
for int i is equal to 0 i less than output size i plus plus c out output i end line so let's try to run this so these are all the paths for five rows and four columns okay so these are all the paths for five rows and four columns let's take a little smaller input size let's take two rows and two columns okay so so i'm getting only hv and vh right so that's very obvious so if we have two rows and two columns so either this way or this way right so hv and vh so accordingly we will get all the answers right by the way if you would have been asked you just have to tell the number of ways you don't have to tell all the paths you just have to tell the number of paths we could have done that very easily right by using simple permutations and combinations so let's take the again the example of five rows and four columns so obviously in this case i will have to go vertical four times four v's and three h's have to be there to reach from here to here there has to be four verticals and there have to be three horizontal in any order right in any order let's say one of them is v v v v h h h so in total there has to be seven step out of which four have to be v and three have to be h so from permutations and combinations we know for such a problem we can simply do 7 factorial upon 4 factorial into 3 factorial right so let's say we have to take 10 steps 3 horizontal 7 vertical what we can do we can simply take 10 factorial upon 3 factorial into 7 factorial right so number of ways we could have simply done with the use of permutations and combinations also but to return all the paths we have to use programming so we are using recursion okay so i hope this problem is clear so i'll see you in the next session thank you